Welcome to What Spoke to Me Most. Here we are, we're looking at that sermon from Luke 16 with Lazarus and the rich man who both die in that parable. Here, here you go, beautiful Savior. This is what spoke to you most from God's holy word in that message. Uh, listen and benefit from the Holy Spirit's action, pinging off the faith of your brothers and sisters in Christ here. Actually, we got, some, we got a special treat today. Uh, someone even wrote a poem. Like, look at that. It's, it's bubbling up in creative expressions of the faith and, and con confessions and things like this. Keep sharing it. We're all benefiting from it. But here, listen, to, this is what we heard. It spoke to me most. The inner fight with the old Adam. He wants to be the rich man, certainly not the beggar. But thanks be to God for his word that exposes his foolish unbelief and promises eternal riches to my poor, needy soul. We pray. We need your word, Lord. Fill our emptiness as only you can. Amen. What spoke to me most is that when money fails and you die, the happiness that it brings dies with it. But the word promises eternal happiness, particularly in death. Hear the word and recognize it as the true riches, for we are all beggars. We pray. Hear our cry, O Lord, and grant us the heavenly riches of faith as you promise. Amen. You see what I mean? These are good. All right, what spoke to me most is that even though Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, it still wasn't enough to make them believe in him. The word alone creates faith. And even though we are still willful and stubborn, by God's gracious promise, we will be saved. We pray, put to death my stubborn heart, O Lord, and raise up in me a heart that begs you for your mercies with a certain faith. Amen. And now our poem. So this is what someone wrote. What spoke to me most. God bless me, a beggar at your door. All be your glory forevermore. Amen. Keep it up. Keep strengthening and giving me courage with that word and faith. So keep it up and I'll keep sharing it. God bless you and see you next time.